Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, and I am the owner of Twin Flame Body. What is Twin Flame Body? It is my series of helpful things for you to do about your ascension, a series of sessions, books, webinars, classes, online healing, hands-on healing. Um, I, it's very well-rounded because this is new. This is so new. You are the newest thing under the sun. But I hear you're having sleep disruption or weird things happening in your sleep. I've been hearing this. Are you doing okay? Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling tired of it? Do you feel up to here sometimes? Yeah, I get it. Um, there's some reasons for this that I want to go over with you. So I've done several videos about sleep, and if you are doing the wake-ups, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, waking up at the witching hour, whatever you call it, I called it sleeping in shifts. That's what I wrote about it in my book. I went through it first years ago when I didn't really understand what was going on. I just understood that something's keeping me awake. I tried sleeping aids. Um the over-the-counter type. Um, I would even, when I used to drink years ago, you know, alcohol, that would work until it really didn't work. And I've even known people, other people, that the minute that the alcohol's in, it turns into sugar and it just keeps them awake sometimes. So there's a thing going on. In case you haven't noticed, I will inform you of it. So I have a board here that I wrote out to talk to you about this. So the first thing to know is you will get rest. And no, this isn't just some new form of torture of sleep deprivation that somebody or some force is doing to you. It can be weird though, and it can be even weirder depending on who you're living with, who's um, sleeping in the next room, who's in the apartment building, that kind of thing. And even then, there are things to do with that because sometimes other things can have an effect on you, such as uh, electric frequencies or low humming sounds uh, coming from an appliance or something like that. Some sounds are peaceful and they blend into that white noise behind you. And some sounds are not so peaceful and they can grate on you and really get on your nerves. Now, you might say to yourself, what does all this have to do with love? Well, it has to do with your existence. It has to do with some of the things you've experienced. It has to do with levels of you. And you might not think of yourself as having levels, especially if you're going through stuff at this level. And maybe you're in lockdown. Maybe you're not. Maybe you have to go and be amongst people. And it's just really, really tough on you. Either way, it's a little bit tough. You know, some people are, you know, bound to the house and they can't do much and they're still getting disrupted. And other people are out and about and needing to go to places to work and they're still being disrupted with their sleep. So are your sleeping patterns changing are they getting disrupted? Do you have nightmares? Okay, this is a part of it. And I want to let you know about it. And I wrote it in my book. I have a book on sleeping and ascension. And I also have a book on ascension and breath. So these books are very helpful for you. I also do sessions with people to help you shift the fatigue because the fatigue that can set in can be several reasons and it involves your organs. And there are things that I pick up on that doctors may not pick up on because it has to do with the metaphysical side of you. This has to do with the metaphysical side of you. So what do I have here? Well, you have had levels which you may or may not be aware of. So one of them is 3D. One of them is the fourth dimension. And you have the astral plane. You have your creative level. 
The creative level is where you go up, it's very lucid, and you feel like you are, you know, having some things going on that uh, you're building, you're playing out, and that part is shutting down. And that can feel disruptive to people because it's a bit like collapsing something, packing it away, putting it away, and you may miss it. A lot of people miss dreaming, especially if they have vivid dreams or good dreams. And, you know, not everyone recalls their dreams. That takes a little bit of doing to put yourself in the mode of recalling your dreams. I wrote about that also in the book. You have the astral. This is a very dreamlike um, sequencing place because this is part of the fantastical. What do you see? What do you pick up on? But it's also very polluted. And that's something that people don't always understand because that includes going, that includes connections to the collective mind. And that's when it gets weird for you. 4D, this can be um, your everyday day in and day out life. You make dream scenes of work or scenes with family, or something like that. Many times, you're somehow saying goodbye to something. But how do you actually get back to sleep? And how do you get the relief that you need? And how do you get to the new level? Because there is a new level, which is the new normal. You won't dream at the same old levels. The 3D level, survival, killing, battle, this is very common amongst people who hold masculine energy in men, not just men, but people who have you been subjected to that. And how do you stop it? How do you get rid of it? I wrote about that and it is um, very concise. There's a plan in there. There are teas and herbs that will help you that are in there. Now, why is this happening? It is happening because love is pulling you. Love is pulling you. And even though you may feel some form of fatigue, love is still going to pull you. It's going to drag you. It's going to drag you kicking and streaming and wake you up and make you be alert. Why? And that is explained in there as to why. Why these levels? Why do you have to be wake, woken up? Well, part of the reason is you're required to be awake. You just cannot go to sleep on some of this. And believe me, back in the day, I tried until I caught on and I was like, okay, what do you got for me? What do I have to do now? <laughs> and then I documented it. I kept a journal and it served me well because I was able to see the patterns and start to see some of the new patterns, then the good stuff started happening. So if you're in this space where you feel like you're somehow just going through another version of being tumbled in the washing machine, um, it's not really the way you may think it is, even if it feels like that. Love is pulling you and it is your higher love. It's what belongs to you. And it's also with your own well-being and the intention of your well-being. You may go through something that I call blackout nights without having to drink or drug or take meds or um, take a sleeping aid or something like that. But even that can leave you feeling very fatigued. So let me ask you a few questions. Do you feel like you're busy, 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 busy? Nothing's getting resolved. You don't feel rested. You feel very disrupted. And you're wondering, what is this brand new version of this? Uh, is this going to be my new sleep? Is this how it is? Is this what it means to have a high vibration? Well, for a little bit, yeah. Is this what it means to be feeling very sensitive and raw to electric frequencies and sounds. Uh, yeah, for a little bit, but I teach you how to get out of that. So there is um, quite a bit of a uh, thing to know about that. 
so that you can get to the new level because there are things that you're needing to integrate this is not a given. This requires your participation. It requires you to know yourself, to kind of know what's your normal, what's not normal. And I'll tell you why, because there's two of you. And I even know that um, some people will wonder with their head, they'll say, are we both awake at the same time? What if we're in different time zones? Some of those things will feel very relevant. Some things may wind up being irrelevant as you need to shift this. And uh, your main focus is getting it shifted and getting the rest. When it first happened to me, I was probably going on about an hour of sleep for probably a month. And before that, about three hours of sleep for about a few weeks. So that was a lot of time without sufficient sleep. To this day, I wonder how did I keep going, except... Like a lot of us, we know that all we can do is keep going with it. But I've made it easy for you. I've made it concise. I talk about the levels in there. I talk about the things that you can um, experience and where this is going. What is the direction of this? Because there's a thing you need to know about this, which is what I was able to find out. You know, it's not just about sleep. It's about positioning yourself and developing the connections, opening and expanding your connections for the new level so that you can create again. It's absolutely vital for us, especially because we're activated. We are the activated people, but you may see people around you beginning to go through this. So I hope that this explanation has helped you you will not dream at the same old levels anymore because they're old. It's a part of the old paradigm. You might miss it. Missing things is a part of this um, ascension process. I miss a lot of things. I miss a lot of people. I found out I missed things that I barely remembered as they were whizzing past me, and it made me cry. Crying is also something that happens quite a lot on this. And you can cry for yourself. You can feel sorry for yourself, even if no one's around and you're saying, why am I feeling sorry for myself? Don't just feel sorry for yourself, though. Feel what you need to feel and come and get the help that I offer and that, you know, people will not know about out there. There are books on sleep and there's books about hormones. And I talk about that in there. There's special hormones that help you. But there's also things that people stick into themselves that really won't be helpful. Getting back to a natural rhythm of sleep, your natural diurnal rhythms, the diurnal rhythm that follows what you two are supposed to follow. And that's going to rely on where you live, how you live. It's There is a huge, giant uh, reset that needs to take place that only you can really customize. So if you're here to be in love, and I know you are, let's get going on this and let's start up. The links are below or have a session with me. We will get the fatigue moved. I will um, give you the what to do and make it very concise so that it fits in line with your life and that you can really get moving on it. So if you have questions, reach out to me at twinflamebody at gmail.com or Twin Flame Body, and please subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, and I've done 400-something videos, um, I hope that you will find some help with these. Um, I will always be coming back. There are just so many things that people go through, and it can be very confusing and baffling. I've been through a majority of them. I know it well. I'm here to teach about this. I'm here to heal people. And help them be in love. Because that's the main thing. And I don't care how other people uh, talk about this isn't romantic. Until you have felt things from the new level, it's, roman it's beyond romantic. It's so passionate that you can't even imagine how you lived without it. So thanks so much. And reach out. 
The links are below. Bye.